Hello, this is Dean and thanks for joining. Today's video is specific to the Husqvarna 455 Rancher Chainsaw and may be pertinent to you for two reasons. Number one, to show you how the chain brake works. And number two, to show you how to reset the chain brake if the clutch cover has been forced off with the chain brake engaged. And because of this, you cannot replace the clutch cover. So let's get after it. You may need some or all of these tools for this repair. Today we will be resetting the chain brake on a Husqvarna 455 Rancher chainsaw. We will begin this video with the assumption that the clutch cover has already been forcefully removed with the chain brake engaged. Now the underside of the clutch cover reveals the chain brake mechanism. Note how the three armed metal insert fits into the black plastic chain brake handle. Additionally, this close-up shows the chain brake handle spring mechanism. Although this next step is unnecessary to resetting the brake, it's necessary to show you how it works. If you decide to remove this chain brake cover, be sure and have your safety glasses in place and respect the underlying spring that's under high tension. Note this black rubber heel that must first be removed. This steel band that you see, it wraps around the clutch drum, and if you look closely, you can see one end of it is attached all the way at the top left of the spring assembly. In this position, the chain brake is not engaged. How can we tell? Because the entire direction of the mechanism falls in a straight line. Now compare what you just saw with what is now the direction of the mechanism. We can see at a glance the chain brake has been tripped and the spring is stretched out, pulling the metal band with it, making the banded circle smaller. As such, there is not a way we can replace the clutch cover around the clutch drum. Now since this roller mechanism is exposed, now is a good time for lubrication prior to reset of the brake. Now that you've seen the mechanics up close, we'll carefully replace the cover, purposefully leaving off the black rubber heel for the moment. Now there's a couple of ways to reset the chain brake. Method one uses a wrench and a screwdriver. You take the arms of the open-ended wrench and place them between the two of the gaps in the three-armed metal insert. Now I made the mistake of starting out with a non-padded screwdriver and this procedure requires a bit of force so you'll see me switch out the screwdriver for one with a bit more comfort. Now if you don't have your cover in a vise, you grasp it tightly with one hand and turn the mechanism clockwise, like this. Now watch it one more time, but this time pay attention to the expansion of the metal band at the arrow. Did you see the circle get larger? Take note of how the mechanism is now in a straight line. The brake has now been disengaged and reset. Now check this out. The clutch drum freely fits inside the metal band and can easily be spun around. Method two of resetting the chain brake involves forcing the cover back onto the saw long enough to reset the brake. This is my least favorite method because it roughs up the plastic under the chain brake handle. Replace the clutch cover and bolts and tighten them. Now the cover is going to sit a bit sideways until the brake is reset, so just be ready for that. Next, you place your hand as shown and squeeze tightly as you move the handle back and then forward. Watch at the tip of the arrow as the cover pops back in place. That means the brake has been reset. Now, don't forget to remove the cover again and we've got to replace that rubber heel. The only reason we took the rubber heel off to begin with was it's easier to perform the reset using method number two without this rubber heel back in place. Well that's all there is to it. Whether it's to service your bar or chain, always remember before you remove this clutch cover be sure the chain brake is off 
by pulling back on the chain brake handle and that handle is shown here. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you learned something. You can catch all our videos by searching for Pilot View Productions and I look forward to seeing you next time.